Hello. <laughs> I've been needing this all week. <laughs> Hi, guys. Well, Jojo, obviously it's been a while since we last saw you, but now that the fight week is here, training camp is behind you, what are the emotions just a few days away from your fight here at the O2? Just really excited to be here and feel confident, feel good. My body's feeling good. So, yeah, confident to be here and loving being back in the UK for sure. <laughs> well, I know you, you've made Vegas your home now, but when they announced this card, was it just a no-brainer that you would try to get on this card when they announced it? I mean, every time they've had the UK show, I'm always like, I need to be on that one. And uh, yeah, so as soon as they asked me, I was like, oh, yes, yes, please. The the only thing that was uh, kind of holding me back was I got a pug last year. So he's now my pride and joy. <laughs> so it was like, oh, how, how do I get him to London? <laughs> did, did, he, did you get him to London? No, but he's in good hands. Sure. Uh, and when they presented you with the, your opponent, what did you make of her? Uh, were you happy with the announcement, or did, 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 would it have mattered who you fought here? No, like, when my manager told me, I was, like, like thinking about what I was doing with my pug. I was like, I don't care who I'm fighting. Like, I just want to get back in there. So that was the biggest thing for me. Uh, so, yeah. And at the end of the call, he's like, so are we taking the fight or not? I was like, of course. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm there, like... Just worrying about my goose. <laughs> then obviously, the last time she fought here, it didn't end well. She's on like that highlight reel of Molly. Does that make her even more dangerous, knowing that she wants to erase that last fight here in the same arena? Yeah, I'm like, she's either really brave or she's forgot about what happened. But it's funny because Molly like picked me up at the airport and she's like, do you want to go see a dead body? I was like, Jesus. Oh, kind of looks familiar, but yeah. Cool. Good job, Molly. <laughs> and last one for me. Uh, what do you make of the main event between Leon and Camaro? How do you see that playing out? Uh, Got to go with Leon. Uh, although I think the championship's going to his head. He, I was just getting a massage there and he came into the room and used the bathroom, let one go, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Leon. <laughs> no, he just peed, but <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to go through that traumatic experience. <laughs> I'm curious with the pug, do you call it? Do you make sure you text every day? How we know that the pug's okay? I'm like 24 seven, like <laughs> worrying about him. But yeah, I've tried to like, he's my little stress ball. Uh, so he means the world to me. So it's been a challenge for me, but I know he's in good hands and I've trained him very well. Like I'm one of the, those people that has a, strict schedule so he he knows what he's doing and uh, i trust that he's in good hands and he's a good boy do you facetime the dog not yet <laughs> but i will today <laughs> <laughs> what are the goals for your career moving forward right you've been out for a little bit now and now you're getting back when you look at the division where you are in your career what do you what are you hoping for moving forward yeah just to stay healthy and physically and mentally uh, stay strong and uh I mean, I've only got one more fight after this in my contract, so the goal right now is to get back in the win column and get another contract because I feel like I'm not done yet. There's a little bit of confusion when the card was sort of announced. It looked like you're on the pay-per-view portion, then it, you're not. Do you care about that sort of stuff, and what was the confusion? No, I've been up and down, like, all my career. I've been doing this for a long time, and, you know, like, I love that it's in London, but if it was in the car park in London wouldn't care as long as like I'm just happy to be part of this event. Jojo, yep. I think it's the first time you've been over here to fight since 2017. It's been so long and obviously living over there in the States. I'm picking up a little bit of an American twang to the accent now. What's life like over there? Rough now that you said that. <laughs> I apologize. No, it's really rough. Like I would never have thought I would have uh, married an American, but now like been over there for five years and it really bothers me when people say that because I'm like oh my god <laughs> like I'm so proud to be Scottish and but you know every day like when I'm over there like people are like can pick up that I'm from Scotland straight away so that's the the best part of my day <laughs> uh, but yeah it's just I mean you just kind of like pick up stuff and it's easier for me to like, I live with my husband, and uh, we've got 
a son, so uh, it's hard to not pick up the limbo. So, yeah, I mean, I love it over in Las Vegas for the weather and miss all my friends and family. But also, I know, like, as soon as I FaceTime my mom, like, I know this week, like, even just speaking to Chris Duncan and Adam, uh, John's like, you can tell that you've been talking to Scottish people, and I'm like, yes. So, you know what? Maybe I just have to FaceTime my mum every day. Brilliant. And uh, fighting on UK soil once again, what does that mean to you, having been so long uh, fighting overseas? Uh, just this whole week has been great because I'm like, oh, I just feel, like, relaxed here. And, you know, uh I've been around, like, this is where I started my Muay Thai career. So uh, it feels like home, you know. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. Any other questions? All good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.